It's time for your daily crypto update with Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host, Ben. Now let's dive in. Bitcoin rebounding some off of that 45,000 area. That is what we wanted to see. It was looking a little dim there as we were making lower lows and lower highs. But now we've pushed back up to the 47,000 area. And you can see if you look real close here, the 50-day never dropped below the 200-day on the 4-hour. It almost did, and then we got that buying up, and now it's starting to point back up. So there's a lot of resistance right above the tops of these candles in this 47,500 range. We're going to need to see break if Bitcoin's going to get back up to 50. But looking pretty good with this rebound over the last couple of days. And of course, Ether has rebounded as well, making a nice little double bottom there. It still needs to push up to 3,500. If it can break over 3,500, I think we'll get back up to 4,000, no problem. But right at this moment, just kind of getting stuck in this 34 to 35 range of resistance. We're definitely going to want to see this candle or the next one push above this previous peak there continue to see upward momentum but ethereum is looking pretty good so cardano not really a clear pattern here at the moment it's just been going sideways pretty much above 230 uh, that 200 day is up there so it's kind of like a channel the 200 days acting as the top of the channel and this 230 area is acting as the bottom so we got to see Cardano break back over 245 soon at least and then it's got to break 250 for us to really get back bullish with the new upgrades and everything out and we're still not seeing hardly any buying on this that is really starting to concern me I'm holding as long as 230 holds up H bar top gainer on the day so far up 8% it's pushing right now to all time highs testing 50 cents if it can break 50 cents it could continue to run 50 cents since this is the first time it's hitting 50 cents i don't think it will break it'll probably have to come back down for another at eh, 10 hours or something and then push for that break if it breaks right straight through it uh, i would be a little surprised but we have seen multiple altcoins lately ripping through the roost so the second one on the list which is just barely up but theta getting back above the support line back here they had cracked blows like the 625 area. See where there's all types of support and resistance back there. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Do have this top of this channel here at 750. But Theta pushing out of those lows it was hitting and back over the 50 right now. We need to see, see, it. We need to see it continue to push and break back above $7. If it can break back above $7, then we can see it move up. Solana still consolidating we're getting closer and closer to the triangle tip we could see it try to break early here it is starting to push up a little bit right now testing that 10 day moving average break over 170 and we'll see it back up to 200 it may not break here though it may have to come down one more time and curl around and then pop algorand in a big consolidation triangle it did just hold up the $2 area, got a little indecision candle there, followed by a green bullish candle if it can close this way or higher. So Algorand may be a possible entry here to look forward to push back up to 240, uh, even 250 to test those recent all-time highs. If not, if it starts turning red and cracks below $2, Algorand's going to be done for a while. A amp I've not talked about in a little bit. This is one I was scalping when it first came out when it made this nasty rip up to about what was it? Yeah, 12 and a half cents. You can see it's in this big wedge. And if we scroll in here on amp, right now we are testing the bottom of the wedge support at five cents. It's been a lot of testing the last couple of days, actually last week, a lot of pressure and selling but has held up 
Looks like we may see a trend reversal for the push back up to 5.3 where the downtrend is. And if it can break over 5.5, five, uh, we could see AMP take off. Really bearish right now in the 4-hour. You can see the 200 up here, the 50 up here, and the 10 way down here just pointing down. But they are spreading out. So we'll probably see them start to tighten close back together. So Adam still hanging around that $33 area. Did drop below $35, but still holding right around that 10-day. The 50 starting to catch up a little bit. If it can hold up long enough for that 50 to get a little bit closer, I think we'll see Cosmos continue to go. Liam just put out a video on his channel, Confident in Crypto, about persistence in the cosmos ecosystem and you will be able to enact with liquid staking part of that liquid staking is a new token on the persistence chain called p stake you will be able to use your atom that you're holding and with that p stake token you'll be able to interact with the persistence liquid staking now I'm going to get into liquid staking here because it will take a bit to explain. You will get an airdrop of the P-Stake token if you are staking Atom or Persistence. So go check out that video if you want to learn more to make sure you can get some of that free money being an Atom holder coin, that airdrop. Avalanche has pulled back from those all-time highs up there at 65 So far holding $50 as support. There is a little bit of a downtrend there. But I do like the fact that 50 day is held and we're pushing back up again. Um, Avalanche has been running pretty nicely this bull run. And it looks like it's going to try to make another leg up here soon. All time highs are at 65 so they'll have to break 65. And after that I would expect 75 to definitely hold up as some resistance. But it looks like it's probably going to break. So with Bitcoin and Ethereum possibly rebounding and getting back up to those recent highs they were hitting. We'll probably see the rest of the altcoins that aren't running start to heat back up, and a lot of those are for decent prices right now if we're going to continue in this bull run. So some to mention would be like Axie Infinity. It has tested multiple times the 65 support and held it so far. If it can hold a little bit longer and they start to recover, Axie could rip again. This is a gaming token the last big rip it had was from 73 all the way up to 95 so pretty low supply on axie infinity and has that gaming token aspect definitely want to keep an eye on so cgld doing its favorite little pattern here once again what do we got we got a little sloping channel like we've had multiple times so the 50 day is right there i'm expecting a pop actually look it's starting to break right now as i'm recording starting to push through it held held above five so yeah we'll probably see this try to make its way back up uh probably that 550 area it's gotten held up quite a bit at that 550 area so we do need to see a break of that and and a hold a break of 550 and a hold of 550 as support for cgl to continue running Polygon Matic rebounding back above this $1.30 area of support. Trying to test the 50 day right now. Also has the 200 above it at 137. So basically 135 to 140. Pretty strong resistance on this. Yeah, you can see there's a 140 resistance line I previously drew. But break of that, we can see it test that 150. Been pretty low since the drop off and not doing too much. So if we do get back in a, another leg up in the market, that's one to keep an eye on as we've seen multiple blockchains run. Now I mentioned XLM the other night, Stellar Lumens. This is one to keep a close eye on as it's made a triple bottom. We got a, this bottom down here, this bottom, and this bottom all around the same support area of about 30 to 31 cents. If XLM breaks back over 34, it might make a nice little run up. And this is one that's not rebounded that well since the last big run. In the last big run, XLM got all the way up to 80 cents. So look for a possible rebound off of this triple bottom coming up. So that's all the coins I'm going to cover for today. Let's hop into Coindesk and check out the news. 
See if there's any interesting headlines. So Solana validators are having some issues. They've decided to restart the network after over seven hours of downtime. So the Solana network has been down. That's not a good look for Solana. Maybe too much adoption at once. Maybe too heavy on the chain or the technology or something. I'm not sure. I didn't even hear about it having these outages, but that's something to be aware of. That could cause price dips in Solana. Fidelity prodded SEC to approve Bitcoin ETF in private meeting. That's an interesting headline there, but if Fidelity's working on the SEC for Bitcoin ETFs, we'll probably be getting them soon. Oh, we also got Bitwise joining in on the whole ETF thing with a futures product filing. So we have some more uh, network outages here. This is on uh, Arbitrum. It's a layer 2 built on top of Ethereum. It's a scaling solution. But had a, an hour-long outage on its beta mainnet this morning. So these power outages are a little sketchy. Not a lot as far as good headlines for the crypto market tonight. But that's it for today's daily crypto update. If you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when the daily crypto updates come out. If there's any coins that I'm not currently covering on a weekly basis that you would like me to cover, leave them in the comments below. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.